In this video, we'll convert moles of calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, to grams. So this number here, 0.81, that's just something I made up for the problem. So we're going from moles to grams, and we have 0.81 moles of calcium hydroxide. So when we go from moles to grams, we're going to go from moles to grams. We multiply by the molar mass. And we find the molar mass here for calcium hydroxide by going to the periodic table and adding up the masses of all of the atoms. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description how to find the molar mass for CaOH2. When we find the molar mass, we end up with 74.10, and the units are grams per mole. Unit for molar mass, grams per mole. So now when we multiply, we have moles on the top and the bottom. They're going to cancel out, and we're left with grams, and that's what we're looking for. So we do the multiplication. We get 60.02 grams of calcium hydroxide. So to recap, we were going from moles to grams. We had our moles, and we were going to grams. So we multiplied by the molar mass. If you were given grams and you wanted to get to moles, if you had grams and you wanted to get to moles, you do the reverse. You divide by the molar mass. And when you do these calculations, make sure that your units, they cancel out and leave the unit you're looking for. This is Dr. V converting moles of CaOH2 to grams. Thanks for watching.